I know that you told me about two in particular. So I would love to start with those moments to just sort of roll out the story and get going. Yeah. So I had two really formative experiences that came at a pretty young age, both around 10 years old. The first one was we were finishing up a beautiful family, home cooked meal. I have three younger sisters and my parents took my three younger sisters and got ready to put them to bed. And they asked me if I wanted to stay up later and watch a movie with them, which was the ultimate like big brother move to just yeah. like to watch my sisters go to bed and get to stay up late with my parents. And so once they were in bed, we uh, met up on the family sofa in the living room. And the movie that they put on was a movie called Mississippi Burning, a really powerful movie that takes place during the civil rights era um, in the deep South. Um, and there's this scene about halfway through the movie where a mob of the Ku Klux Klan is gathered outside of this black church and lights are off on their trucks. They're hiding behind trees and this church service gets out and the black parishioners make their way out and this mob of Ku Klux Klan attacks them. And it was just really violent. Um, I can remember it in my body more than I can in my head. Um, but mm. there, towards the end of that scene, there's this little boy that's kneeling that appears to be about my age and he's praying and he's just praying that this is going to end, right? And this guy from the Ku Klux Klan comes up and kicks this boy as hard as he can. And at 10 years old, that's all I could take, Chris. And I yeah. sprint out of the room and I run up to my room and I bury my head under my pillow. I'm sobbing uncontrollably. And I remember my mom comes up and she sits on the end of the bed and she puts her hand on my back and she doesn't say anything. She just holds space, right? Allowing me to feel whatever it was that I was feeling is the first time that I remember asking myself, how is it possible that it, one human being could treat another human being this way because of the color of their skin for any reason, really. Mm -hmm. And it was the first time that I really remember asking myself, why are we so divided as human beings? The mm -hmm. second really transformative experience happened probably three months after that. And my parents put all four of us in the family station wagon. And my dad said, we're going to go participate in something really special and we drove, I don't remember where we ended up. We pulled over the side of the road and there were hundreds of cars. And then we get on this like larger road. It must've been some sort of a highway. And there are thousands and thousands of people on this highway. And my dad explains that we're there to participate in this day, which was called Hands Across America, which was an attempt for millions and millions of Americans to link hands from the East Coast all the way to the West Coast in an attempt to raise awareness and money for the fight against poverty. And I don't remember a lot about the day, but I remember joining this line and linking hands with complete strangers from as far as I could see to the right, as far as I could see to the left, mm. this like human chain. And it was the first time I remember asking myself, what is this force, this one thing that has brought millions of people together at one moment in time for one thing? And what are the creative ways that we can bring people together? So at 10 years old, these two questions start growing in me, which are why are we so divided as human beings? And what are the creative ways that we can begin to bridge those divides? 